Today, I'm giving you news on how new demand for leisure travel from California and northeastern markets in the U.S. have led to airlines scrambling to schedule new routes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for a shout out and hit that notification bell. If you are a new subscriber, please leave a comment down below with your Instagram handle or YouTube channel name and you will get a shout out on my Instagram page. And without further ado, let's get started. JetBlue has announced that they will be adding 24 new routes, most of which will be helping to dominate its presence in the Northeast. Seven of the new routes are going to be based in EWR Newark, increasing competition against United. They have also announced that four of their new routes will be from Hartford, Connecticut to the West Coast, Las Vegas, and Cancun. JetBlue has also announced that they will be opening a new LAX base with expansion to eastern destinations and international destinations. There is even a rumor that JetBlue is planning a route between London, JFK, and Boston. Delta has announced that they will be adding eight new routes with expansion from LAX with the Embraer 175 to smaller Californian destinations like Fresno, Palm Springs, and Reno, Nevada. Um, they have also announced expansion to the western market from Atlanta, including new routes to Boise, Spokane, and Reno, which is near Lake Tahoe. Alaska has announced that they will be adding five new routes. Three of those new flights will be from Palm Springs, California to Boise, Reno, and San Jose. They are also expanding at LAX with service to Cancun and Reno. Southwest, the biggest airline in California, is sending a message that it will remain dominant in the Californian market. They have snatched up all 17 of JetBlue's abandoned slots in Long Beach, and they will be operating out of three new airports, Miami, Palm Springs, and Steamboat Springs, Colorado. So you might be asking why are airlines adding new routes when demand for travel seems to be low? Well, their airlines are anticipating that there is going to be a new demand for domestic travel within the U.S. to Western, de Western destinations such as Idaho, Reno, and Colorado, Las Vegas, and also new demand from big Californian cities to places like Lake Tahoe, Palm Springs, and closer international destinations like Cancun. But will this airline bet on new demand live up or will it just be another devastation? Leave your comment down below on what you think. Please subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, like this video, share this video, and follow my Instagram at um, SFO underscore flyer. And I will see you next time.